Once upon a snowy time in a little North Pole town called Tagusville, there lived a super cool Arctic fox named Swift. With fur as white as freshly fallen snow, he was often overlooked by folks, and that made him a bit sad. Swift dreamed of being as beloved as the legendary package deliveryman, Top Dog, who everyone adored. One day, while Swift was following Top Dog around the city center, and he accidentally bumped into a pretty lady fox named Jade, and broke her toy. Swift put on his fix-it cap and magically repaired Jade's toy, leaving her utterly amazed. Together, they watched in awe as Top Dog zipped around, delivering packages to all the happy residents of the town. But sadly, Swift didn't receive any packages. But fear not, a kind-hearted Top Dog named Duke came to the rescue and gave Swift his pawtastic signature, turning the frown upside down. And you won't believe it, but Swift's determination to become a delivery fox like Top Dog only grew stronger. As time zoomed by, Jade and Swift grew up, and Jade set off to study at the Technical University, while Swift scored a job at the expedition office led by the awesome Magda, a female deer. But hold your snowballs. Swift didn't land the delivery courier job. Oh no. Instead, he ended up in the package stamp department, working side by side with Lemmy, the cool sea eagle, and Pibby, the fun-loving polar bear. Three frosty years later, it was time for Swift's job review at the office. But when he stepped on the scale, he couldn't believe it. His weight had dropped. Swift immediately spilled the snowy beans to his buddy Pibby, asking for help to practice and meet the courier standards. But Pibby had a different opinion. He suggested that Swift give up his dreams, saying he should be content with what he has. But Swift wasn't ready to throw in the snow towel just yet. He was determined to prove to Pibby that he could be an awesome courier. Swift even hatched a plan to impress Pibby by delivering him to the office on time, riding a super cool snowboard. Off they glided, zooming down the ice caves and snowy forests until they reached the bustling city, and guess who they bumped into? None other than Jade, back from her adventures. After their adventurous journey, Pibby and Swift finally arrived at the office, where Magda broke the news about Swift's job review. No promotion to Courier just yet. Poor Swift felt deflated when Magda explained that being a small fox and not a dog was the reason. But hey, hope flickered back to life when he spotted Top Dog, ready for another package delivery. Even though Swift's spirit was lifted by Top Dog's awesomeness, the reality hit him like an icy blast. He was still stuck in the package stamp department, and oh boy, did that leave Swift feeling utterly frustrated. But here comes the heartwarming part. Pibby and Lemmy were there to sprinkle some joy and fun back into Swift's snowy day. So sometime later, Jade showed up at the expedition office, all eager to deliver her goods, but alas, she arrived just a bit too late to catch Top Dog. But fear not, Swift to the rescue. He bravely stepped up and pretended to be part of Top Dog's crew, with Pibby backing him up, and finally, Jade trusted her package to Swift's care. But troubles brewing as Lame revealed Magda's worn sled for Swift to use, warning him about the consequences if caught by Magda. Undeterred, Swift enlisted Pibby and Lemmy's help, got receipt document, and set off on his daring delivery mission. With determination in his furtive heart, he pulled that sled through a wild snowstorm until he finally reached the address. Ding dong, and there he stood, eagerly awaiting the package's recipient, Otto. When Swift opened the door instead of Otto, out popped Paven the bird, chirping away. Swift explained that he couldn't sign documents or deliver packages, and that got Odo, the recipient, all grumpy. But the one who arrived to save the day was none other than Odo, a super cool walrus with robotic legs. Swift shared his liking for Paven, and with Odo's help, they worked together like a dream team. But walrus wisdom kicked in and Odo drove Swift away from his place. Shortly after, Swift finds Jade busy fixing a package sorting machine owned by Magda's office, and he happily informs her that her package has been sent. But back at the office, poor Lemmy and Pibby are overwhelmed while trying to replace Swift's duties. Swift returns with a joyful tale of delivering his first package, but Magda gets wind of it, thanks to Lemmy's slip of the tongue. Magda is not a happy deer and gives Swift a tough choice. Feeling sad and disappointed, Swift heads home, unaware that he's being watched from afar. And as night falls, a mysterious sedation befalls the top dog, courtesy of none other than Sneaky Paven the Bird. As the radio blared about the city of Tagusville getting warmer, Swift stepped out of his house and stumbled upon an empty suitcase, only to find it belonged to two crafty otters who whisked him away. But hold on tight, because these otters, Berta and Leo, are no ordinary mischief makers. They are secret agents from the Ore Resistance in France. They are on a top-secret mission to investigate the puzzling emergence of Paven the Bird and the rising temperatures. To Swift's astonishment, they reveal the reason behind his unexpected kidnapping. They want to recruit him as a special agent. 
Now, Swift is destined to become a double agent, working undercover at Magda's expedition office to uncover the mysteries brewing in Tegasville. In the meantime, Tay's package delivery was running late, causing a flurry of troubles for the folks in Tegasville. And to add to the mystery, the top dogs suddenly stopped working, leaving Magda all puzzled. Quick as a fox, Swift saw the chance to be a hero and volunteered to take on the deliveries. Magda then allows Swift to deliver the packages, but he must come back with an office pen, or he'll be in deep snow trouble. With no time to waste, Swift gets ready to embark on his delivery mission. But oh my snowflakes, at first he struggled to pull the sled, until Sly Pibby stepped in to give him a little push. On the flip side, Oto was all upset with Pavin for kidnapping the top dog and causing the package deliveries to halt. But little did Oto know, Swift was already on the scene, swooping in to deliver the packages like the hero he is. However, Tricky Swift cleverly pocketed Magda's office pen and sneaked into Oto's fortress, pretending the package was left behind. With quick thinking, Swift fibbed and told Oto that the package needed to be taken back. And Oto instructed Pavin to do just that. Sneaky as ever, Swift followed Pavin through the access door, getting ready to uncover the secrets within Oto's fortress. Swift's eyes widened in astonishment when he stumbled upon a colossal drilling machine inside the fortress. But hold your earmuffs, the shock didn't stop there. Swift realized that this massive machine was made from items sent by Jade. As he made his way to retrieve the office pen, Paven was suddenly called by Odo for an urgent assembly, causing Magda's pen to be flung across the floor. Swift struggled to get a hold of it, but what caught his eye instead was the top dog's necklace. While Odo is busy explaining his master plan with a map to Paven, Swift can't help but keep his eyes on that elusive pen. Later on, when he returns to the expedition office, Swift is eager to spill the beans to Peeby, but Pibby brushes him off and instead invites him into the office. Out of the blue, Pibby and the gang have planned a spectacular success party for Swift, celebrating his remarkable delivery accomplishments. And that's not all, Magda shows her appreciation by proudly displaying a photo of Swift on the wall. Swift is over the moon with joy, melting the happiness of the party. But alas, in the midst of all the celebration, poor Jade starts feeling left out and decides to slip away from the party. Jade's heart aches as she feels that Swift has changed since her return to Tegasville. Back in her workshop, she's upset to find a toy Swift had fixed during their childhood days, and in her frustration, she tosses it into a pile of cardboard. But an unexpected twist awaits as Pavin the bird emerges from behind the cardboard and does something mysterious to Jade. As the temperature rises in Tegasville, Pibby invites Swift to run around the city, but Swift is too curious about the sudden change in weather. Surrounded by adoring children, Swift gets upset and yells at them, leaving Pibby puzzled about his anger. Swift tries to explain what he saw in Odo's fortress, but Pibby thinks he's just trying to impress him and believes Swift has gone a little crazy. Pibby decides to skip going to the office while Swift finally realizes the impact of the rising temperatures in the city. To make matters worse, Magda's expedition office faces a flood incident causing damage to the package sorter. When Jade couldn't be reached, Swift dashed her workshop, hoping to find her there. But brr, she was nowhere to be seen. However, Swift stumbled upon a letter from Odo, saying that his sneaky machine was almost ready and Jade was going to be part of something big. As if that's not enough intrigue, Swift stumbles upon a mysterious feather belonging to Pavin. Driven to unveil the truth, he rushes to the Oil Resistance, where he finds Berta and Leo already investigating Odo and Pavin. Astonishingly, they possess an identical map to Odo's, pointing to dangerous gas drilling happening beneath Tegasville the reason behind this sudden temperature rise. As night fell, Swift, Berta, and Leo ventured out in search of evidence against Odo's wrongdoing. Coincidentally, they stumbled upon Odo preparing to drill for gas. But oh snowballs, their cover got blown and Paven chased them. Thankfully, they managed to escape by diving into the safety of nearby bushes. Meanwhile, Jade finally came face to face with Odo, who claimed to be the greatest engineer and had been sending her letters. Odo thanked Jade for her tool, which helped him complete his drilling machine. But Ono had kidnapped Jade to create a crucial control panel for his machine. On the other side of town, Swift, Berta, and Leah return and rally the residents to reveal Paven's dangerous gas drilling. Swift exposed Paven as a minion working for Oto, the smart but reckless walrus who was known for inventing innovative yet hazardous objects. Magda surprisingly had prior knowledge of Oto, and she explained that his dangerous creations had led to his expulsion from the herd. In a surprising turn of events, Odo showed up at Magda's expedition office with what seemed like a brilliant and helpful idea. He proposed natural gas drilling as a way to deliver packages globally. However, Magda quickly realized the disastrous consequences of such an idea and made the tough decision to fire Odo to prevent any harm from coming to Tegasville. 
When Swift heard Magda's story, he rallied the residents to join forces and stop Odo's actions. Together with Berta, Leo, Magda, Limi, and Pibi, they embarked on a mission using the repaired sorting machine Jade had left behind. But their plans hit a snag, and they got caught and imprisoned next to the top dog. Yet Swift remains confident in their teamwork, drawing inspiration from the top dog's heroism, and believes they can break out of Odo's fortress together. Oh no, it seems like Duke wasn't up for the daring plan. He explained that he and the other top dogs were ready to retire, feeling tired from their courier work. But over at Odo's fortress, Jade successfully created the control panel and asked Odo to remove it from the fort. Yet Odo had other sinister plans in mind. He assigned Jade to operate the drilling machine, which could release dangerous gases to melt the ice and put the people who rejected him in peril. In a tense confrontation, Jade realized Odo's cunning and refused to help him, which angered Oto, leading to her imprisonment. Eventually, Jade crossed paths with Swift and the others, but Omino, Berta, and Leo misunderstood and thought she was working for Odo, causing her to be shunned. Still, Jade tried her best to explain the truth to Swift, hoping he would understand the situation. In a thrill and twist, the prison where Swift and the others were held suddenly started moving, revealing Odo's sinister plan to drop them into a scorching hot spring. But quick-thinking Jade swiftly crafted a key to free herself and rescue her friends. With their escape successful, Jade ingeniously used Pibby to disable Odo's drilling machine, hoping Lemmy could control it. Yet the machine proved to be a formidable challenge to tame. At the same time, Odo hurries to Tegasville. Swift and the others come up with a daring plan to thwart him. Jade reveals her brilliant addition to the control panel, a crushing device that can stop the drilling machine, but it needs to be activated manually. In a courageous move, Swift volunteers to confront Odo and halt his dangerous drilling. Meanwhile, Odo arrives at Tegasville Bay to carry out his sinister scheme and install the drill in the city center. With just four minutes left for Odo's plan to succeed, he gleefully awaits the moment. However, his joy turns to anger when Swift and the others arrive to stop him. Odo commands Paven to hinder their progress and initially Swift and the team struggle to fight back against Paven's snowball attacks. But in a brilliant move, Swift takes off his clothes and pants, cleverly camouflaging himself amidst the snow, making himself invisible to Paven. Now he can stealthily approach Odo's drill machine and hopefully put an end to the dangerous scheme. Amidst the intense battle, Swift successfully halts Odo's drilling machine, but it comes at a cost. The machine is now set to explode. Swift considers fleeing, but his compassionate heart won't let him leave Odo behind. Determined to help, Swift approaches Odo, but to his surprise, Odo throws an iron at him, causing both of them to be thrown by the explosion's impact. As the dust settles, the leader of Paven's bird troop abandons Odo, allowing Tegasville residents to apprehend him. Swift survives the explosion and gains the admiration of his fellow residents. Magda, impressed by his bravery, grants Swift the power to make changes at the expedition office, in a heartwarming conclusion, Swift decides to welcome any animal to become a package delivery courier, fostering a new era of inclusivity and unity in Tegasville. And so the heartwarming anime adventure draws to a close, leaving a message of courage, compassion, and embracing diversity. The moral of the story is that in Tegasville, even a package stamping fox can deliver courage and save the day.